guys, I'm going to be showing you how to create a WordPress web blog on the internet on your own hosting account. I'm going to be for this demonstration using 00webhost.com, which is a free web host for on the internet. You can get you can use the same web host as this, but you will have a dot something like that. Let's get started. So you have to sign up at this website if you want to get a free one, um, and then click create new and say I have it here. I'm going to do test blog, and then I'm going to do the password is test one two three four five. And it has to have numbers and symbols inside the password. And look at that, it's completed. Okay, so I have to go click back to accounts list. And see, now it's done. So now it's active. Now we want to go to cPanel. Okay, so here's the control panel for your website. Now there's not, no WordPress on here. So what we're going to have to do to download it is go to wordpress.org. And you want to click download the latest WordPress, which will probably be always right here. Right now it's 2.8.4. You're going to download it. Download. It will be in a zip file. Now this way I'm showing you is going to be via an FTP client, which I am going to be using for this demonstration is FileZilla, which is free. FileZilla, Google it. I'll show you here. The free FTP solution. I'm sorry. You know, just click download and just download it onto your PC or Mac, depending on your operating system. Now, this this uh, guide works both on PC and Mac, so you're good on that. Okay, um, so now it's finished. I'm going to open it up. Okay, okay, so here is all the WordPress files. They probably will all be a PHP files and folders. Okay, so that's pretty much all. That's all it is. Okay. Now let's uh, let's install it. Okay, so once you download your FTP client, FileZilla, which I recommend, you want to open it up. I'm going to open up FileZilla. FileZilla, there you are. Okay, so you want to go to File, Site, cancel, File, Site Manager and do new site and uh, let's enter it and let's do test blog okay so first thing it says FTP hostname you want to copy and paste that into this one and you want to change this to normal let's see the login is a the wrong code oh, wrong one. I'm going to do that and then do the password, which is test12345. And for any of you who want to hack this website, this website will be pretty much deleted by the time this web this video is up, so don't try, hackers. Uh -huh. Okay, connect. And see, there it goes, it's connecting. So now you want to just see public HTML. HTML, sorry if I call it HTML, but whatever. You want to open that up. Okay, and you want to delete this file or PHP file. It's a default. I mean, this is what it shows. Um, let's go to it. This is what you'll see if you don't delete it. And it's really annoying. Which you don't want that. So we want to delete it. Right click and click delete. And now it's deleted. Okay, so now you want to minimize this. Okay, and you want to drag, highlight all of these files, every single one of them, into this directory, all of them right here, into the public HTML. And they will let, let's let them transfer. I will unpause this video when I get back. As you can see now, here's all the files that I just transferred. Now, a uh, thing I should have mentioned before, if you start getting problems like you cannot connect more than two connections, go to Preferences or uh, Options, it may be under Edit if you're on Windows. Um, you want to go to Transfers, and this will be set on 2, you want it to be set on 1, and then click OK, and you'll be good. Um, and if you do get any failed transfers, it'll be like marked right here, as you can see I had successful transfers, 728. This actually does take a while, so don't worry if it takes too long. Uh, if you get any failed, you want to right click and then like tell them the reset and requeen selected items and then 
right click and then process queen, which I have nothing there, so there's not going to be anything. Um, now let's go to the website. I've got to create a configuration file. Oh, whoops! I have to re. Um, I have to uh, change the file permissions. The fastest way to do this will be actually going back to your control panel on 000webhost.com and going to the file manager, not this one, this one, the blue folder, and then let the password because the oh you know test test one two three four five and do this. Come on, go to the public HTML. And do seven seven seven. There it is. There's our problem. You want to do that? Okay, there was my problem, so I had to do that. So go back to here and just do that one and, and come on it or it's my permissions. Now uh, cancel, reset back, and then do it again. And there we go. That's gonna work. Okay. So here we go. Gonna click let's go. Uh, you want to create a database? Go to here, and you want to let's do test. And then do data, or let's do whatever you can do whatever you want. You can name it whatever you want. And I'm gonna do passwords test two three four five test one two three four five. Oops, I got my wrong. Okay. Test one two three four five, and leave that information up. Uh, oops, wrong one. And you can access it. You don't need it anymore. So you need the first. You need the database name, and that will be right here. Oops, right there. A. It's you're gonna be your database name. Your law. Your username. Oh wait, not your username. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your username is this data. Password is test one two three four five. Localhost, do not leave it like that. Even though it says it there, do not copy and paste that top one. And just leave that prefix fine. That's a good. You don't need it. Okay, now it's good. And you look, run the install. Okay, let's do test blog. And my email would be let's just do my let's do my phone help support.com. It's my email for the website. Um, no, don't allow it. You can click that if you want it to be in Google. Now, this is important. You want to make sure this you want to remember it. Your username is admin and your login, there's that. Cancel. You want to do admin and then copy and paste that code and I'll show you how to change it now if you're using a later version you're going to have this come up you want to click it and say yes take me to my profile page this will get you to change your password um, yep and you want to go change your password and go test and read that twice there you go okay and you can up, you can pretty much learn the rest of how WordPress looks on how to create posts um, here is the oops. Here is the blog, test blog. Hello world, this will come up. You can delete it. And, um, and yep. 